coal pits oscillator. On the Rigel oscilloscope. Let me show the settings. DC, 10x on the probe, single channel. Um, very low on the power supply. It's actually turned up, but it's not getting a lot of power in. I've got one, the probe hooked up to line off the capacitor and the ground on the inductor. A little green inductor right there. If I wiggle that inductor, I get a little bit of weird stuff going on. And then it knocks it out, and then I hit it again. If I touch it, getting all sorts of weird stuff going on. There we go, back to normal. If I increase the voltage, about six volts. I get that. Then it'll die down for a while and I have to kind of reset it. Uh, I've got a fan on it because this 68K resistor gets pretty warm without it. It feels pretty cool now though. Once I, I put that there. Um, I had a 22K resistor turned black within a couple seconds. And now we're dead again. Give it a little more power. There we go. Starting it back up. Getting a sine wave. Um, this took forever. I built this circuit on the breadboard. And it, it didn't work. So I have, if you notice, a lot of long jumpers here. Because I was experimenting with different, slightly different configurations. Um, but... Some of these other jumpers are really short, so I kept shortening things, and I changed to an electrolytic capacitor right there. That electrolytic helped this work. I had a ceramic one. It wasn't working. Um, it was just a, I believe that was the one microfarad capacitor. Uh, I don't know why. Actually, I do. Electrolytics kind of bleed through. They're not as good. They're more sloppy, which in an inducting circuit, which is oscillating, this is a coal pits oscillator. Uh, normally, you don't want things to oscillate, but with this, you want nice sloppy, garbagey electrolytics. I found this in an old DVD player someone threw out today on garbage day, so I got lucky. And it's still giving me a crazy sine wave. And the frequencies jumping around between 5 and 10 kilohertz, which doesn't really make sense, but there it is.